Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, today, today. I have to exit out of this and come right back in. Today, we are going to be talking about severe storms once again back in the forecast for, guess what? The Midwest. Yes, we have a possible hmm, enhanced risk for the Midwest and then it moves right into the north Ohio, well, let's say just the Ohio Valley, mid-Atlantic, and northeast later on into day three and day four. So, breaking news, like I just told you, we have a possible enhanced risk being issued. Now, for our local area, less than a generous with thunderstorm risk for all of us. All right, here's today's risk. Today, we have two marginals, one for Florida and two for Iowa. Nebraska, North, South, sorry, South Dakota, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Also, one for um, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. And then the one over here, this will be our main starter for tomorrow's severe weather. Less than two area, less than two percent of all areas were tornado risk. 5% for those areas that I just mentioned, and then 5% for hail in all those areas that I also just mentioned. Here's our, actually, this needs to be updated here. Uh, we're just going to go straight to the NWS office here. We have, we didn't have this, but now we have heat advisories, wind advisories as well so we could possibly see a red flag warning for these areas possibly uh just just very possibly then we have special weather statements off the coast of florida there um so we have to really watch out for these storms top weather headlines a high pressure will sit over our region for three days bringing temperatures into the high 70s and the low 80s with no chances of rain until friday so what that can also mean is here let me just show you i'm gonna go right back to the nws and i'm gonna show you that it's on the risk here you can see exactly where our high pressure is it is right in here uh or you could you could do something like that um we're gonna be pretty hot um but also very nice out for some of these areas so that is what's going to be happening second headline thunderstorms are Thunderstorm chances are back in the forecast for Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday. So Father's Day will be a beach day for all of us. It is going to clear out for Father's Day. Thank goodness, because Memorial Day was worse. Um, and that's exactly what we need. We need to have a beach day. Finally, as temperatures for all of us go into the 80s, the mid-80s for the Northeast. All right, our city of the day, Pittsburgh. PA, we under a hazardous weather outlook. Temperature 83 degrees, dew point 64. Wind chills at 11 uh, degrees Celsius. Our heat index 66. Our humidity 85%. And I bet you that heat index meant to say 86. Wind nor coming from the north. Um, at around 11 miles per hour, gusting at sometimes around 19 miles per hour. You can see it's windy, but still sunny. Visibility 10, mi 10 miles. Pressure is at 30.00 millibars. And at the time of me making this video, it is 4.07. Sunrise this morning was at 5.49 a.m. Sunset tonight was at, uh, sunset tonight is at 8.52. Now, as we continue here um, into the next frame, this is the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania hourly forecast. 3 p.m., we're going to see some clouds here and there, but 5, 7, we're going to clear out. Even at 9, the, the moon is out. It's going to shine. We're going to see the stars. We may have a passing cloud or two. And then we're just back into the clear zone once again. That's the, that's the good news for us. 
wind vectors and frontal um and frontal map there was no fronts coming for us guys because that high pressure is over us and you can see how the winds are blowing from the southwest that is the warm texas air and gulf of mexico air then eventually a cold front will sweep through that will bring some moisture from possible claudette that that low pressure um could be off the coast here and we're going to be talking about a possible td or tropical storm coming up also delays today traffic delays no delays yes that is perfect we're not going to have delays for the next three days until friday future radar showing us look we don't look at our um i want you to take a look at our high surf and rip currents we stay at low all the way until 1 50 in the morning all right so here's our severe weather threat for the nam 3 from the nam 3 km you can see that right here we're just continuing to see this bow segment starting to make its way through not really a bow segment, really a line then we have the second bow segment watch how they both play out with each other you can see that this one becomes more of a bow segment. This one becomes more of a line. Next frame. Look at this. They both become bow segments. Right in here. And then, of course, right in there. So we will watch out for that. And then there goes our... We are, we're going to get two lines in Chicago, possibly. First bow segment, the next line. And they're both going to have very heavy rain. Flooding is a very big concern. Then they both die out as they make their way into the uh, Indiana and Illinois state line. Then we get a surge of Gulf of Mexico warm air coming in like this. That will bring in a few of a few more thunderstorms in these areas. But really that thunderstorm risk is with this storm system. Uh, the cold front is back in here. So it's not far from where these storms are. Not far at all. We continue here. The cold front moves down a little bit more. Then by the time this cold front moves down a little bit more. Right in there, we have some Arctic cold wind actually also coming from this way. But it's not going to be that cold. Uh, then that front basically moves off this direction, moving pretty fast actually after it moves through these areas. Uh, and you can see that's our surge of just a few more showers and lingering thunderstorms before we get another dose of rain and thunderstorms for these areas once again and then there there's that rain continue to come right on it so our convective setup instability is high which i will show you our shear is high as well and our upper support is also high our overall threat is in extreme i mean not even high why did i say high for everything in extreme for everyone so, or for everything that that's going to go on and happen. Severe, uh, our thunderstorm threats here, we are going to have moderate tornadoes, extreme wind, large, moderate to high large hail, high to extreme flooding, you guys, you all saw, and then our extreme for thunderstorms, any given thunderstorm warning as well convective mode our convective mode today is once again that linear line as you all saw we're not going to have any pulse thunderstorms uh but the linear large hail flooding which i told you about damaging winds which i also showed you about and isolated tornadoes uh within that embedded uh line so embedded supercells cannot be ruled out here is our Cape 600, uh, 600, 6,000 right in here. 
these are what these storms are going to fuel off of as well. Because it's still there. And you can see the first tiny thunderstorms starting to pop right off of that very hefty cape. Next frame. You can see right in there, right in there, there goes the storm starting to spark. One more frame. There it is. Everything is starting to come together now. Once again, next, last frame. Okay, last frame. Look at all of this instability. There is one storm, another, 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 all in there. So we really want to watch out. Another thing we want to watch out for is the tropics. The tropics are heating up today, and they're going to continue to heat up, especially along these areas. If you live in New Orleans, and you are watching my video right now, I will say stand to your highest alert because if this makes the landfall trajectory right in here where we were, oh, right in here where we were thinking, Right in there between the Lake Charles and Beaumont area. You will get very heavy rain and hefty rain. Then it will get swept by the cold front that will be impacting these areas. Okay, so what's 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 going to be playing out here? So we're going to have this cold front here. And just gonna draw it all out for you because we're not gonna leave you with any more questions because you guys are gonna get this straight. Um, just in case you guys have family members. So there's that warm front that'll eventually be moving through. Here's the low pressure. By the time that low pressure comes through, that that cold air will be moving in like this, right? Like that. Coming in from the top to the bottom into the middle. And you know what that's gonna do to the storm? Sometimes they start to fuel out here as they are passing the front right there. They start to fuel out and just go down, right? But we're gonna get winds coming like this, right? Am I right? Right? Okay. But guess what? You're getting this surge, continuous surge. From there, that low pressure is going to make its way over here. And this is what I'm going to be talking about. Another resurge of clot debt. Could we potentially see clot debt like this? storm possibly a hurricane for a little bit and then go down to tropical storm could could it stay as a tropical storm i'm saying no i think it's gonna weaken tropical depression could it go tropical storm once again yes it has a very much a possibility. Here's the depression current look right now. This is depression. You can see it's a uh, it's an 80 to 90 here, and then here it's a 90 to 100. One frame. Here's the next frame of the TD tropical depression. Same thing, same story, but tropical storm. It's generally low but it's still there 50 to 60 is a moderate but as i skip to where that low comes right here i'm gonna make this red comes right here like i said keep an eye if you are right there a 70 to 80 i mean a, a yeah a seven no a 60 to 70 percent of a tropical storm different than it was here am i right all right 10 day uh, sorry forecasted kate
once again, that 5,500. And then our severe weather threats here. Tornado threat, moderate, damaging wind, extreme, large hail, moderate to high. And then our 10-day forecast for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Wednesday, 75 degrees, mainly sunny. No clouds are going to be in the sky. Thursday, 78 Zero percent chance of that rain. Very hot and humid. Uh, well, not really humid yet. Friday is when we start to get a little bit more humid, especially at nighttime. 84 Friday for people who are in Philadelphia, Jersey, uh, New York, Connecticut, uh, not Connecticut, um, New York, um, Delaware, Maryland, and if I'm right, Virginia. You're a lot, no, not Virginia, sorry, not Virginia. Just Delaware, Pennsylvania, Jersey, and New York. See, the last day of school on Friday. So, it's going to be a pretty pleasant day, so I'll play outside on the last day of school. Saturday, 89, chance of thunderstorms, scattered thunderstorms, but just a chance, not really intimate. Uh, Sunday, 90 degrees. That's also going to be Father's Day. It's going to be humid that day. But if you go to the shore, we're going to get a nice sea breeze cutting us down into the high 80s. But it's going to be a beautiful beach day. Monday, 89. I'm sorry, 86. That's another day of scattered thunderstorms. A better chance than Saturday. But Tuesday, the next day. Another chance of strong to severe storms, potentially uh, severe storms, um, with a 50% chance possibly on Tuesday. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.